guys, Crazy Postman here. So today we are going to find out which is the more efficient aero wheel cover. Is it the stock aero wheel cover or is it the new orbital aero wheel cover? We're going to find out today once and for all. I'm going to go on a loop and then I'm going to change uh, wheel covers and I'm going to do the same loop again and we're going to compare the difference between the two. Now it is rather windy today so the overall average may be higher than what most people see but what we're looking at is the difference between the two different covers. I'll also run one time with the uh, just the Tesla rims with no aero wheel covers on and we'll see how bad they are compared to the two. All right let's get with it. We're gonna go out with no aero wheel covers now. This is just the stock Tesla rim and we're gonna have a baseline to see what the watt hours per mile are without any aero wheel cover enhancements. I will be doing a 10 mile loop, five out and five back in at exactly 70 miles per hour. All right, let's get it. Okay, sitting at the halfway point with the stock rims, no covers. Here's where we're at. We're at five miles, two kilowatt hours, and 312 watt hours per, per mile. Now, I try to hit the regen at the same time on this turnaround point. Here we go. We're going to turn around and finish this last leg off here. All right. We're coming up on the end of the test for the just the rims, no aero wheel covers. And here's the results. 325 for just the rims. Now that we got our baseline, we're going to test the two aero wheel covers. We're going to test the orbitals and we're going to test the stock Tesla covers. Let's go. Here we go. We're about to start the test. I got the orbitals on first and we're going to see what their watt hours are per mile. Now I'm going to reset this once I get up to 70 miles an hour. I'm going to do it the same way all three times so it can be as fair of a comparison as possible. So here we go. Okay, the way I've decided to do it, I'm going to do it in autopilot as much as possible. Uh, and all of this test is going to be exactly 70 miles an hour. So I reset the uh, watt hours per mile once I was already going 70. And I'm going to look at the final number before I slow down from 70. Now I'm doing a loop, so I will have to slow down and speed back up at the far end. But a loop style is the most fair, so in case there's any differences in elevation. Okay, I'm at the halfway point with the orbitals. And here's my numbers so far. 319 watt hours per mile. So I'm turning around and I will go back to exactly 70 miles per hour. I'll try to keep this steady acceleration for everybody. I'm not gonna pound it and I'm not gonna baby it. I'll just have a steady acceleration to ju just try to make it as fair as possible. And when I hit 60, I'll put it back in autopilot. All right, we're coming up on the start finish line for the orbitals. Let's see. 98, 99, and 10. All right, 322 watt hours per mile. 322 watt hours per mile with three kilowatt hours used. All right, that truck just did a U-turn in the road right in front of me. That was so weird. So I'm going to go over here and I am going to change uh, wheel covers here in this parking lot. And we are going to run this repeat test just immediately right now so the wind conditions don't change. Now I got the original factory Tesla Aero wheel covers on. So we're going to get back out on the highway and run an identical test to see the watt hours per mile in my 10 mile loop here. Let's get it. 
All right, sitting here at the halfway point. Let's take a look at the number here. We are 4.9 miles in, 2 kilowatt hours, and 311 watt hours per mile for the halfway point for the stock Tesla wheel covers. So let's get back out on the road here and finish the other half of this and look at the final results. We're coming up on the end of the test for the stock Tesla Aero wheel covers. Are they better? Are they? Don't pull out in front of me. Oh my gosh. If you mess my test up, fool. And here we are. So, that car just pulled out right in front of me and it caused me to break. Oh my goodness. Well, we saw the numbers like right before uh, that car turned in front of me on the highway like a jack. That was the final number for the Tesla Aero wheel covers, around 310 before my car put it in emergency braking for the dumb. Okay, let me go ahead and cut my road rage off right there. So let's go over the final results here. The first one is no wheel covers, and we can see that in the first half of the loop, we got 312 watt hours per mile. In the second half, our total was 325 watt hours per mile. That's just for the stock rims. Now moving on to the orbital covers. These were able to achieve in the first half 319 watt hours per mile. Moving on to the full loop was 322 watt hours per mile. So the last one we have here is the Tesla factory aero wheel covers. And the halfway point in the loop, they had 311 watt hours per mile, much better. And the whole loop, we achieved 310 watt hours per mile. So you can see here, we have a clear winner with the uh, factory Tesla wheel covers. So the final results, we have first place Tesla covers at 310, second place are the orbital covers at 322, and third place are just the stock aero rims that come on the Model 3 at 325 watt hours per mile. So I want to thank you for watching this little episode comparing the new orbital wheel covers to the factory Tesla wheel covers, and I will see you in the next one. Alright guys, something somewhat embarrassing just happened while I was removing the rims. Uh, I'm kind of a, a fluffy guy, and uh, my shirt just gave out. <laughs> it uh, gave up the ghost there so this is the last time you're gonna see me in this one I mean you know I got a few pounds to lose but uh dadgummit I hate it having to buy another shirt <laughs>